What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video, we're introducing an exciting new company to the channel and that company is called Oberon Uranium. Now Oberon Uranium is a unique small cap Canadian junior exploration company focused on uranium projects in Saskatchewan and in Arizona. So two relatively safe mining jurisdictions. In this video, we're going to be going over all the key points when it comes to the company, the website, and a few interesting things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Last but not least, for full disclosure details, this is a sponsored video. Always check the description down below for full disclosure details along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer and always remembering that these videos are not financial advice. With that being said, guys, I bring you Oberon Uranium. Finally, don't forget to leave us a like if you do appreciate these videos along with a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you do want to follow along for more unique companies. So the first thing I wanted to go over was in fact a quick analysis of the stock. So the stock is traded on the Canadian Securities Exchange under ticker symbol OBRN. It has a 52 week range of five and a half cents all the way up to a dollar oh four. So that's quite a tremendous range and we're sitting right around that 52 week low. The company currently has a market cap of just $1.68 million. And if we look at the yearly chart here, the stock has had quite a substantial decline. So hopefully, you know, we can't predict the future, but if things start to heat up in the markets, hopefully we can see some kind of rebound. So now I quickly wanted to head on over to their website and that is oberonuranium.com. Nuclear is a zero emission clean energy source. We know that the nuclear slash uranium sector has been pretty hot over the last little while. So you can find out more information on the company here on their website. So in addition to providing base load CO2 emissions, free low cost energy, nuclear provides unmatched electricity generation in megawatts per square kilometers. Little bit of background information. What is uranium used for? Uranium enriched into U-235 concentrations can be used as fuel for nuclear power plants and the nuclear reactors that run naval ships and submarines. So they have a little bit of information here about their Lucky Boy project, but we are going to skip to a very interesting article when it comes to this company and highlight some key points. The Lucky Boy past producing mine is located in the Dripping Spring Quartzite, a formation within the Apache group of younger pre-Cambian age, which is exposed in southeast central Arizona. So onto a very interesting article from energyreportstoday.com. You can head on over to the website or check out the link to this article. Could recent acquisition news trigger a potential 1,123% move back to its yearly high for this little known Canadian explorer? See why now could be the best time to start your research on Canada's Oberon Uranium Corp. So we're going to go over the seven reasons in this article, you know, why you might want to take a look at this company. So they had some recent acquisition news, little known mineral exploration company with a growing portfolio of assets over on uranium recently announced a significant milestone in its expansion strategy. The company has successfully executed a definitive share purchase agreement to acquire all of the issued and outstanding shares of a numbered Alberta corporation, a move that is expected to enhance Oberon's position in the uranium exploration and extraction sector. Also, potential upside for number two, shares of Oberon Uranium recently bounced off their 52-week lows of 5.5 cents and moved 54.55% in just three days when it opened at 8.5 cents. A move back to its 52-week high of $1.04, which was set back on the 12th of January 2022, could indicate a potential upside of over 1,000% from its 8.5 cent opening price on the 5th of May on the 3rd of May. According to historical data from barchart.com, this move is uncertain, but the potential upside needs to be noted. Another thing when it comes to small cap stocks and anyone who knows the small cap sector, the shares outstanding matters and then also the float. So this stock does have an extremely low float with an extremely low float of fewer than 5 million shares as indicated in the listing statement. Over on Uranium may exhibit considerable volatility at a moment's notice, making it an intriguing situation to monitor. Moreover, the company was newly listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange in November of 2022 and has remained under the radar. So as we know, green energy stocks are very important right now. As the world works towards cleaner energy and decarbonization, green energy stocks have ample room for potential growth. Oberon Uranium operates as a mineral exploration company in Canada and the United States and is focused on the fuel responsible for producing nuclear energy. As we know, this is a massive market and massive market potential comes along with that. So as the demand for renewable energy sources increase, many companies want to go green. According to data 
from Allied Market Research, global renewable energy market is expected to reach almost two trillion by 2030. We also have the government on board. So backed by the government, the USA's Inflation Reduction Act allocates 369 billion toward fighting climate change by funding and developing green energy. The act recognizes the indispensable role that nuclear power must play to achieve that commitment. The IRA contains several key provisions that bolster a broad spectrum of new and existing activities in the nuclear industry. And finally, fuel of the future. So uranium is the most widely used fuel by nuclear power plants for nuclear fission. Nuclear power plants use a certain type of uranium, which is 235, as fuel because its atoms are easily split apart. Although uranium is about 100 times more common than silver, U-235 is relatively rare at just over 0.7% of natural uranium. Let's build on that acquisition news. As we mentioned, they are acquiring all the issued and outstanding shares of a numbered Alberta corporation. So the acquisition, which was initially announced in a news release dated March 6, 2023, totaling 20,064 hectares near Uranium City, Saskatchewan. These claims are part of the Fusion Uranium Zone, an area known for its potential for uranium deposits. In addition to the mineral claims, Oberon Uranium will also acquire the company's proprietary uranium extraction technology, which utilizes an innovative method of in situ leaching for uranium deposits located in non porous, impermeable underground formations. While that acquisition has been an exciting piece of news, the company does still have ongoing projects. Currently holds an option to acquire a 100% interest in the past producing Lucky Boy property in Arizona and also has a 100% interest in the Element 92 property in Saskatchewan, Canada. So that's not the only thing going for this company. Finally, the latest acquisition demonstrates its commitment to expanding its asset base and enhancing its technological capabilities, making it an attractive option for individuals seeking to be part of a company with strong growth potential in the uranium industry. So here we can see the stock chart and its potential upside. Of course, just because it happened in the past doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna happen in the future. But this is something to consider, especially with a small cap stock and there being so little shares in the float. So if you are looking for more information, you can get Red Hot. If you are looking for more information, feel free to put your email address along with your phone number and name. So let's touch a little bit more on share structure. So one of the faucets of equity research that is often underlooked while performing fundamental and technical analysis is the company's stock structure. The stock structure pertains to how the shares of a public corporation are set up, or we also call this share structure. This can be implicate, this can have implications on both a fundamental and technical level. Fundamentally, stock structures can affect earnings per share, voting rights, financing, dilution, valuation, and short interest. From technical analysis perspective, the stock structure can affect stock price behavior, the rigidity of price movements, spreads, volume, liquidity, and momentum. So taking a look at the share structure here. So they've got number of shares, non-diluted, just over 24 million. Held by related persons or employees of the issuer or related person of the issuer, 11.4 million. Total public float, 12.6 million. Free tradable float, 3.5 million shares. So I wanted to take a closer look at the company's projects because that's one of the main things that I wanted to focus on and highlight. Oberon Uranium is a mineral exploration company with an option to acquire a 100% interest in the past producing Lucky Boy property located in Arizona, USA. Oberon also has 100% interest in the Element 92 property located in Saskatchewan, Canada. So let's take a quick look at the Lucky Boy mine in Arizona, USA. The past producing Lucky Boy mine is located in the Dripping Spring Quartzite, a formation with the Apache group of younger Precambian age, which is exposed in southeast central Arizona. So there we have it. Take a look at that on the map. The Dripping Spring Formation that lies north of the Salt River and east of Tonto Creek contains nearly all uranium deposits in Arizona with geological characteristics that resemble those of the Colorado Plateau. The past producing Lucky Boy Mine is located on the southern flank of the Panay Mountains in southern Gallia County, Arizona. Access provided by Arizona State Highway 77, 
to the Dripping Springs Road, approximately 16 miles south of Globe. So here we've got the Element 92 Uranium Project in the Athabasca Basin in Saskatchewan, Canada. As we know, the Athabasca Basin is a very famous prolific mining jurisdiction for uranium. Bit of information on the project. They're exploring the Element 92 Project on the southern margin of the Athabasca Basin for uranium. The project comprises a single Saskatchewan mineral claim disposition covering 5,961 hectares. Oberon holds 100% interest in the claim. The property has been subject of industry and government uranium mineral exploration surveys since the late 1960s and 1970s, usually as part of much larger regional programs. The property covers flat line topography between 500 and 520 meters in elevation above sea level, including a portion of Cable Bay, as well as smaller streams, lakes, and sandy rises of glacial origin. The property could be assessed on winter roads by snow machine from the Cree Lake and Cable Bay Dean Nation Reserve in the winter, or by helicopter from Fort McMurray, Alberta, La Ronge, Saskatchewan, or the Key Lake Airport, 85 kilometers to the east. The nearest road access to the property is Saskatchewan Highway 914, known as the Key Lake Highway, which reaches the Key Lake Mine Airport, approximately 85 kilometers east of the property. From there, a helicopter charter is the most feasible method to access the property. And here we have some more information on the project and where it sits within the Athabasca Basin. So why nuclear? An increasing acceptance of nuclear as a positive ESG investment. In addition to providing baseload CO2 emissions free low cost energy, nuclear provides unmatched electricity generation in terms of megawatts per square kilometer. The largest offshore wind farm in the world generates less than two megawatts per square kilometer. The largest nuclear power plant in the world generates 1,955 megawatts per square kilometer. So it's almost incomparable, especially with the increasing, ever increasing need for power and clean power. CO2 equivalent. Nuclear is a zero emission clean energy source. Finally, we got to talk about management team because we know that management team is very important and you should always do your own research and due diligence on the management team before investing in any company. It's definitely one of the most important things to take a look at. So let's take a few quick minutes and uh, highlight the management team, specifically John McCleary, Chief Executive Officer. So Mr. McCleary is a mining entrepreneur with over 40 years of experience in the resource exploration development and financing of projects globally. Mr. McCleary is a mining entrepreneur with over 40 years in resource exploration, development, and financing of projects globally. Most recently, Mr. McCleary co-founded Creston Molly and served as director and head of corporate development, where he spearheaded over 40 million in equity financing to acquire and advance the El Creston project in Mexico. Under his co-leadership, the El Creston project advanced to become Mexico's largest molybdenum deposit, advancing through a pre-feasibility in under two years and was subsequently acquired by Mercator Minerals for $195 million. Mr. McCleary has established a reputation as the catalyst behind various successful startup and early stage resource companies, bringing new sources of projects and capital. Mr. McCleary is CEO and director of Keon Capital Corp as well listed on the TSX Venture. So you can take a look at the rest of the team, the chief geologist, specifically Warren Robb, Mr. Rob has been involved in mineral exploration and mining for 35 years, gaining experience with both senior and junior mining and exploration companies. Over the period, Mr. Rob has explored for gold diamonds and base strategic metals in North America, South America, China, and Africa. Mr. Rob served as chief geologist with the exploration team for Rocks Gold that discovered the Yaramoko gold deposit in 2012 in Burkina Faso. Mr. Rob is a registered professional geologist in BC. So guys, to reiterate, seven reasons why Oberon Uranium could witness unprecedented growth in 2023. We've got that recent acquisition news, potential upside. You know, we've got the stock trading right around 52 week lows. It was over a dollar just about a year ago. Extremely low float, as we just talked about share structure. Green energy stocks, you know, are in favor. And this is something that's very essential. Massive market potential, backed by the government. And finally, the fuel of the future. So that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. If you're looking for a small cap uranium exploration company with multiple projects 
targeting Canada and the USA in some prolific mining jurisdictions. Take a look at Oberon Resources today. Also, don't forget to leave me some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button. Give me a subscribe if you feel like I earned it. And uh, we'll see you guys in our next video. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.